All right, hello everyone. This is Hunter Doyle. I'm here with Sanjay Georgeson, and we're interviewing Micah Bowens today, QB from Bishop Gorman. Uh, recently announced he's heading to Penn State for his college football career, which is really exciting. Um, 29 to 8 TD INT ratio last year. Uh, state champion at Bishop Gorman. Kind of just a uh, staple of Bishop Gorman's uh, legacy, I guess you could say. I mean, pretty dominant college college career, and on the ESPN 300 list. We're really impressed with you, man. We we love watching your film, so. Thank you so much for this opportunity. We really appreciate you. We know, we know you're a busy guy, so we appreciate your time. So just like, tell us how you're doing right now, man, and how quarantine's been going for you. Oh, well, yeah, well, appreciate you guys having me on. Um, yeah, quarantine has been, you know, ain't really been much going on. Just trying to stay, stay consistent on my workouts, making sure I'm eating right so that uh, whenever I get the call that it's time to go up to Penn State, I'm ready. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, it's definitely been tough for everyone. I know, like, all the free agents and, and draft players who have been getting drafted, and especially the college players with the spring games. I mean, it's been tough, so we're praying for all you guys. We know we know this is a big part of the, the off season, so um, we're just going to keep you guys in prayer. So uh, moving on, just kind of tell us about yourself and your, your journey and how you got into football as a kid. Uh, well, I played a little bit of everything. When uh, when I was young, I uh, started off in soccer, and then kind of I didn't start playing football until I was like nine. And then you know once I started playing that, I fell in love with it. Uh, switched at my actual, my first season playing football was actually an offensive tackle. So uh, after a few years, made my transition to receiver. Then I started playing quarterback and playing like everywhere on the field for my youth teams. So yeah, uh, I already had the decision to go to Bishop Gorman in my head since sixth grade, fifth grade. And uh, once I got there, uh, my freshman year, I was the only freshman who was on JV. So I started on JV and I practiced with the varsity team. Um, sophomore year, I uh, was on varsity full time. I was a backup quarterback. And I started at corner, moved between corner and safety for the majority of my sophomore season. And then uh, started at quarterback both my junior and senior years. And now I'm here. Awesome. Hey, man, cool story. But speaking of stories, talk to us a little bit about your – it takes a lot to get a person like you to where they are now. So who's been someone who's been like, whether it's a role model, whether it was a coach who really like helped you along, Someone big in your life who helped you get to this point? Oh, well, my dad coached me in every sport and every team I ever played on growing up. So if I had to say that he, he was definitely my biggest influence and my motivation to get where I am. I got you. All right. So along the way, I'm sure you've had your rough spots. Everybody has them, but especially for athletes, they're a lot more pronounced. So – Tell us a bit about some of those times or some rough patches, places in your life where you faced adversity and you had to overcome that. It can be on the field or can just be in your life. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Okay, okay it's moving a little slow. But yeah, um, if I had to pick one, one moment that was probably the worst out of my entire career, it would be the my last state championship, which we did not win. We lost, uh, I think we lost by like a touchdown. We lost in overtime. We lost by a touchdown in overtime. So yeah, that was definitely, that was definitely hard, especially coming from the school that I came from where it's expected that you win. Cause you know, I don't know if you guys know, but this streak, of teams in Nevada that we have lost to. We haven't lost to a Nevada team and I think it was 12, 13 years. And it was 11, it was 11, 11 years. We hadn't lost to a Nevada team. So that state championship was our first loss to a Nevada team in a long time. So, you know, that was hard for me and my teammates, but, you know, I think it definitely has motivated me, motivated all my, all my old teammates and all my old coaches. You know, I'm excited to see what they do this next year and then see where, how all my uh, old teammates do coming up this next year. 
Yeah, definitely, man. You just kind of touched on um, Bishop Gorman a little bit. You guys kind of had a dynasty there for a little while. Um, I mean, we saw Tate Martell was on that, that Netflix show, QB1. Um, De DeMarco mm -hmm. Murray went there, Ronnie Stanley. So how have you guys kind of built that, that dynasty over time and um, just kind of like consistently dominated in, in Nevada and, and against like, I know you guys have played um, a lot of teams outside of Nevada that are really good too. Yeah, no, I think it was just building on top of hard work, hard work on top of hard work. You know, the coaches there, the staff, not even just the football program, the whole school, everything was, it seemed, it felt like a college to me. You know, it felt like everybody there understood why we came to work every day and the things that we were trying to accomplish. And, you know, as a team, we welded together perfectly. And, you know, the coaches, super great influences, all great coaches. You know, they just, it was a standard that we, we held high uh, at the school and that they're going to continue to hold high. Definitely, man. And so you had, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you, a lot of you and your teammates have had a lot of big offers. So you had multiple power five offers. And I mean, I know just for, for me and Sanjay, like college decision process is tough, no matter whether you're a student athlete or not. So um, just kind of walk us through like your decision process and what kind of led you to Penn State? You cut out, you cut out for a second. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so we were just talking about how like the, the college decision process is really tough for anyone, whether they're a student athlete or not. So what kind of led you to Penn State? You know, when I when I committed, it was I, I wasn't planning on committing that early. You know, I tried to I tried to get around all the schools that I had offers from, and I even got to a bunch of schools that I didn't have offers from yet that I was planning on getting. But um, <clears throat> excuse me, just when I took that visit, everything about it blew me away. Like the coaches, the atmosphere. You know, I felt I felt at home. Like it didn't. Every other school that I went to, I didn't get the feeling I got when I went to Penn State. So I knew that after I visited, I knew that was the place I wanted to be. I want to spend my next three to four years. All right. Well, I mean, you already talked a bit about them, but you had like a great coaching staff at Bishop Gorman. So yes, what sir. would you say is the thing that they did best? What did they do to really prepare you to get to this point? Whether it can be one thing that really stands out or you can list a bunch of little things. Uh, I think what stood out the most is them preparing us not just for football, but being successful in our later lives and, you know, making good decisions and making sure that we put ourselves in the best positions possible to, you know, provide for our families and, uh, just, you know, just have a good life. I think they definitely prepared us not only on the field, but outside of the field. I love to hear that. And then now, let's get back into the football side of things. Dual threat quarterback, it is your age, it is your time. Whether we're talking college, the NFL, the dual threat quarterback is really coming on to the scene. And you really do that. So talk to us about whether it's working on the ground with your legs, whether it's throwing that ball through the air. Describe your play style to us. Uh, you know, I feel like as a, as a player – and as an athlete, I can do anything you need me to on the field. You know, not just I don't I could play anywhere. You know, I play I played basically every position there is on the field. But you know, as a quarterback, I feel like whatever you need me to get done, I can get get done. You know, through the through the air or on the ground, and commanding the offense, I don't have any problem with that. And so you know, I feel like I'm perfect fit anywhere. Yeah, definitely, man. And so we just kind of touched on a little bit, but. Um, I mean, sometimes you look like a Cam Newton out there. Other times you're like a Patrick Mahomes. So do you have like a, a current NFL quarterback or it can be a historic NFL quarterback that you kind of admire or model your play after? Uh, I wouldn't say I model my play after, but, you know, my, my favorite quarterbacks would be uh, probably be Lamar Jackson or uh, – Probably Deshaun Watson. Hey, you can't go wrong. Very good choices. Love playing with both of them and Madden, too. It's a lot of fun. So, um, no. yeah. Um, oh, sorry. I 
just had a brain freeze. Um, so, I mean, we just talked about a little bit earlier, you're listed at six foot. Um, and a lot of people are going to knock you for being undersized. I mean, that's, that's what the scouts love to do today. Even though we've seen guys, you know, like Kyler Murray, Michael Vick, Russell Wilson, Drew Brees, they're all, it doesn't matter size for them. So, so what do you kind of tell people that say you're undersized for the quarterback position? I mean, I don't really, I don't really speak on it a lot. I kind of just let my play do the talking, but you know, my opinion on it, you know, I can't change what they think, but you know, what's, what's a few inches going to change, you know, what's two, three inches going to change. I feel like I could do anything, something somebody who's six four can do. And, you know, that shouldn't, it doesn't affect me in any way. Definitely. All right. Every athlete has one, man. So we're going to ask you for yours. What's your favorite play in game? Maybe it can be like a moment. It could be, you could even tell us like a designed play, but what is one moment in a game that stood out to you above all the others? Mm, and that's a hard one. Um, it would have to be. I think it would be my junior year. We played uh, De La Salle out of California. Uh, we were playing at their at their house. Um, I think the score was tied at that time, but we ran we ran a uh, like a triple reverse, and I, I was streaking down the sideline. And uh, it was on ESPN, so that was pretty cool. And I dove into the end zone, got a flag. But, you know, that was probably my, one of my favorite moments in high school. Hey, sounds like heck of one. So let's go back to Bishop Gorman a little bit. Talk to us about mm -hmm. your locker room chemistry there and how it just helped you throughout your career and how, how did you get on that team, the team presence of it all? Uh, you know, a lot of us played against each other and with each other growing up, like throughout middle school. So we already had knew each other coming in. But you know, it it was really a it was really a big family. You know, I could depend on them guys for anything. You know, they were really my brothers. And uh, you know, in the in the locker room, it was just you know we always had fun. And then when it was time to get serious, we got serious. You know, it was just a great experience. You know, I, mean, I definitely miss all them guys. Yeah, definitely, man. And so your coaches have complimented you on your personality and just like being well respected amongst your peers and being a leader. So kind of talk to us a little bit about like how important it was to you to be a leader and just um, kind of hold a standard for all the guys and hold everyone accountable. Yeah, you know, as a quarterback, one of the first things you got to do is earn the respect of the team. And, you know, a lot of people do that through their play. But, you know, I, a lot of them guys I knew for a long time. And, you know, we already had tight bonds. So I think once once we got our feet wet, you know, like once once it was really our team, I think we really they really expected me and expected expected the most from me and expected me to lead them out onto the field. And, you know, I thank them for that. You know, I wouldn't have been able to do what I did without them. Yeah, for sure, man. And you touched on this a little bit earlier, um, that loss against uh, Liberty, I believe, in the state title game. I mean, that's a yeah. heartbreaking way to go out. Um, you know, like every student athlete's been through their fair share of like really heartbreaking moments. So kind of talk to us a little bit more about like what you learned from that experience, what it was like walking off the field and just like how much like it really meant um, just to like have that one last time with your team and what they really mean to you and just like what it was like to wear that uniform one last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, after the game was over, it was just more, it was more anger, you know, and I wish now, now, now that I reflect on it, I wish I would have spoken to my team more and, and, you know, had their backs. I feel like, you know, there was more I could have done in that game. There's definitely more I could have done, but, you know, can't change the past. I just, you know. Thank them for what they did out on that field. You know, a lot of people let it let, left it all out on the field that day. And, you know, I wish I could have done more. But, you know, that's just the way it is. Can't change it. Mm -hmm. hey, you said it can't change the past, but you can work on the future. Next Absolutely. year, going to Penn State, going to be learning under an accomplished coaching staff, learning under experienced quarterback, Sean Clifford. Talk to us about what your mindset is heading into your upcoming season at Penn State. What do you hope to like learn in the first year? Any goals you've set for yourself? That sort of thing. 
uh, you know, it's 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 hard to know like what to expect, especially coming coming into a new environment. But you know, I just want to learn as much as I can from them guys, and you know, help the team in any way that I can, whether that's on the field or off the field. I just want to be, you know, make sure that I'm 100% prepared in any way. You know, like got to learn the playbook. I've already started learning that. Um, but you know, I don't. I got to master it before you know I really can can do anything out there. But, you know, I'm just waiting my time. Just trying to do everything I can right now to prepare, to prepare myself. I got you. All right. So, what do you feel is the biggest part of your game which you could improve going into this next season? Improve would probably be before the snap momentum, you know, just being quicker in my decisions, my snap reads, and uh, realizing what the defense is doing before, you know, before the play starts. Hey, smart answer. That's like one of the minor details a lot of QBs don't talk about, but you really got to be able to do those quick snap reads when that ball goes. Got to see where the defense going, what the cover is, all of that. Good answer, bro. Yep. All right. Next, quarantine, crazy times right now. How do you stay in shape when literally everyone's almost trying to stay inside? <laughs> well, you know, I, I got it kind of easy. We, uh, we have a treadmill in the house, and I got uh, a couple weight sets that I can use. But, uh, you know, coach, Penn State coaches have sent me some workouts that I could do. And, uh, you know, I've had to modify a few of them because I don't have all the weights that I need. But, you know, I've, I've been doing what I can. All right. Definitely, man. All right, we're going to move on to uh, the get to know you questions. We're going to put aside the football aspect for a little bit and just wrap up with these. So, um, so I heard, is it true that you enjoy bowling? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's heard... one of the main things I miss right now. <laughs> Definitely. So uh, we got to know what's the best game you've bowled, man. Ooh, I think my highest game was like a 172. Something or something around there. Okay, I respect it. I I'm not very good, so I mean I don't think I could reach anything close to 100 <laughs> probably. But so I gotta respect. Um, and so you come from a little bit of a warmer environment out there in in Nevada, um, and now you're heading to the East Coast, um, up to Happy Valley. I mean we're from Philly. It's a little bit colder up here. So have you kind of been uh, stocking up with winter clothes? And do you think you're ready to to handle the cold? Oh uh, yeah, I've been stocking up a little bit. You know, I got me a few winter coats, but you know, I think it, I think it's just once I get used to it, I'll be fine. You know, yeah. like it shouldn't, it, it won't bother me too much. Like the first few days, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little rough. I can't lie, but once I get used to it, I'll be all right. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm from we're we're both from Philly, and I went out to to um, Chicago for my freshman year this year, and it was like it was a whole new world. So <laughs> I wish you the best, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Dude, favorite song right now? Let's hear it. Oh, favorite song? You know, I, I got a crazy playlist. I got like something like 2,000 songs on my playlist. <laughs> you know, it's hard for me. It's, it's hard for me to pick one. Um, something by, Lil, by NBA Young Boy for sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, respectable. Some... Respectable. All right. While we're sticking with the favorites, you got a favorite video game. And if it's a sports video game, you got a favorite team slash player you would like to play on there. Uh, well, I play, I really only play like two games. Uh, I've, been, I've been playing Call of Duty a lot and uh, I, I play 2K too. I, I play a little bit of Madden, but I don't play much. I play more 2K than I play Madden. But uh, All right. yeah, no, so 2K, I don't game? really play. I don't really, I don't, I play my player. So, you know, I got my own person. I don't really pick a team. All right. Yeah. Okay. I've Great never, game, I've never really been someone to pick teams. I'm, I'm more like players than I like teams. You know? Yeah, I got you. My player is one of the best game modes. You can't go wrong with that. And I mean, I know Call of Duty has been pretty, been pretty hype since um, quarantine has been going on. So um, thank you so much for your time, man. I mean, we really love talking to you. We're excited mm -hmm. for next year and, the next few years beyond and hopefully the NFL draft too. I mean, we think you have a bright future and 
um, we're excited to see where you go and we love your mindset too. So thank you so much for talking with us. Is there anything you want to say before we sign off? Uh, no. See you soon. Happy Valley. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to these guys. You know, they got me on here doing this interview. Uh, appreciate you guys having me on and uh, good luck to both of y'all. Yeah. Thank you, man. We'll see you. All right. See you, man.